So first question, yes, go ahead. About the, uh, you had a question about the, 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 the news coverage. Go ahead, what, what happened, like, yes. So they like smashed your car window. So My uncle's SUV, uncle. that's right, yes. Yeah. So did it cost lots of money? To do what? Well, first of all, it wasn't just my uncle's SUV. It was 20 other cars yeah. on the same block. So let's get that straight. The Iblisi forces struck at the uh, P Street where uh, the uncle's SUV was parked. So that's what happened. Now, uh, you're asking me about one car is going to be different from the other car, right? Because not all cars are going to have the same, again, insurance. And I think this is the reason that... You know, again, we live in a society where having full coverage will take care of this, but that's still not the point. So I, I want to make that, yes, very clear. So I did talk to uh, the neighbor and, uh, and I asked like about the neighborhood watch, where, where were they? And they, had, they said sleeping, you know, they might, yeah. So I think this is something that the, you know, coalition forces are going to look into, neighborhood watch. It, it warrants for there to be extra cautious and necessary protocols, security measures to be properly, adequately uh, taken care of. So again, the coverage for some vary. Uh, but yes, any, what's the next question? Did, did it only happen once or did it happen again? Okay, so, um, so far this type of a uh, atrocity or this type of a attack from the Iblisi forces uh, at this point, under these circumstances, yes, this was the first time. Yes. Next question. Yes. Uh, I don't have a question. Okay. Next question. So let's move on. Since and that was that your last question? Because you know, okay. But the other thing that you had asked about was the hospital. Yes. So so we're talking about the medical uh, situation now. Uh, we want to make very clearly that this is actually. Uh, a result of the, the 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 automotive accident, okay, and it is being dealt and treated with uh, to the best of the ability of the Med Corps. So uh, you will really need to give that. But not only that, we also have the brothers, brothers, incorporated brothers who are at the uh, the legal the legal perspective of it. In other words, that there is a uh, legal position taken, and that also has to be placed in mind. So that, that all goes back to, I guess, uh, that would be the uh, command of mind situation there, and, and so I'm not at liberty to discuss those. But to answer the, the question directly and specifically, yes, there was the emergency visit, and there was... Uh, of course, uh, observational uh, protocols that will duly handled by the Med Corps. So, um, and any other questions pertaining to that particularly? I think that's very clear. You know, we want to make it very uh, straightforward, and we hope that you know it's as transparent to everyone that um, you know we are involved in this Quranic effort. It is a Quranic and it's a spiritual, it is, uh, but most importantly, it is the Quranic revolution, okay? So this is the situation, and as long as uh, the Quran is there, and this is all that we have, uh, and, and thankful by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are, we are calling it a revolution forever. So yes, yes. Uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran about our neighbors, as well as the times that we live in, as uh, well as the solutions to all the problems that we face here, definitely is suffice. Okay, it's particularly when you find 99% of, 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 of quote unquote uh, followers of the Prophet Muhammad. If you say you follow the way of Prophet Muhammad, how is it possible that you don't know 99% of his lifestyle? That's what you're looking at because his, his lifestyle was based off of the Quran. Not only that, um, but you assert things to his sunnah. 
and you, re you, you take things out that you like and you insert things that you like and you want to say that you're following, does that make, that doesn't, but it would even going back to the initial point is that this Quran, again, is what he lived by. You don't know 99% of it. And you're in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s. Like, you think this is okay. This is the message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of all, has given to you. You say you know him. You say you love him. You say you would do anything for him. But you don't know 99% of what it is that he said. Does that make sense? In fact, the first oath of allegiance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the way of Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam is what? Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. How many of you can honestly, after going through these, 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 these Quranic studies, Qamariya, Shamsiya, word structure, Tajweed, how many of you honestly believe that there are 99% of Muslims that you know today in this immediate vicinity, this Western Hemisphere, who can spell the oath of allegiance to Allah? How many of you? How many of you? Raise your hands if you know at least at least nine out of ten people who know how to spell it know just how what letters are there. Do you think that this is do you think that this is going to be suffice of a currency on the day of judgment? It's like you know you're going to pick any country in the world. Any country. What, what, do you know any country? You gotta say something. No, you don't. He's laughing. So okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna pick it. Bangladesh. Mm, Bengali. Let's go check out the Bengali. Eh? Basically, the point is the matter. Of the matter is this. You're going to go there with some resources. Right? Right? You know that you're going to need transportation money. You're going to need communication money. You're going to need to, you know, take some things to those who desperately need it. You're going to give zakah and sadaqah while you're out there. So you take provisions. You take provisions. And those who give, you know, to the most needed, yes. And the those who are closest to them, yes. So you take provisions. Now you know for sure you're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he's going to ask you, what, did you, what were you doing? Why were you doing it on, on the earth? What were you doing on earth that I gave to you? Why were you doing it? How are you doing it? And the first thing that comes to your, 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 to testify on your behalf is this Quran. The first thing. Before anything else, the first thing. But people do not understand that just going and, I don't know, is it called a wudu that they think that they're doing? They think they're performing a wudu. And then they go and do what it is that they think that is salah. And then they turn around and feel like they can do whatever they like to anybody else. Yeah. So the psychological perspective of this goes very deep. So I think that's, that's fair enough to say. If you, you cannot even spell Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, and imagine, not a single, if you put all the people that you know, you can pick any, any 10 people on the other hand, and you ask them to spell so many different things in English, mm -hmm. right? And they'll spell, spell, spell. So it, it, is, it, is it not clear enough that they cannot spell like one phrase that they say that they <laughs> attest to? Yet, here it is that they can put all, they can put a paragraph, paragraph and paragraph together of something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never told them that would be their currency on the Day of Judgment. So this is the problem. And people begin to understand, and there's another video also, there's another video from, from New York, I think, but this subway situation. Yeah, it, it's very bad. The society is losing a lot of, you know, reality. The society today is losing a lot of realities because it is not based on the truth. It's not based on the truth. If, if you are strong-minded and you know what type of society that you live in, and you know for a fact, as many have already said, that it's not based on Quran, it's not based on... <laughs> you know that for a fact. 
right? Say no more, right? Why you don't practice your Quran say, so that you would what Allah Ta'ala revealed in what is perfect in this life and the next? Why you don't practice that? Why do you spend so much time living upon the ways of dead deities? That's what they are. The founding fathers, they're what? Founding fathers are people, and they are where are they right now? They are deceased. deceased. <laughs> now, you know, yesterday was a different story of where they were. What did you say yesterday? Founding fathers are what? She said it. She said it. Yeah. Founding fathers are where are they today? In the they're in the ground. <laughs> I, hey, you said it. I did. <laughs> But um, I think that's a very important point. I mean, the Founding Fathers are, are dead. I mean, nobody's going to be able to say anything else. I mean, they are. Allah Ta'ala sees them all. You see? So how is it that, you know, we're supposed to be so proud. We're supposed to be so feeling of belonging and so, you know, all this pride and joy you know, for something that is dead. That doesn't need, that, that's the first problem anyway. You're not supposed to feel all happy and, and soothing and satisfied. About, I mean, imagine that you went to a funeral. You see, people are mourning. Right. So how it is that we're supposed to feel so proud about a, 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 a way of life that is, that is dead? The founders died. We have the Quran. We have that source being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator and the sustainer. We have that. So why would we, and this is alive. Allah is alive. Allah is not, is Allah dead? No, Allah is not dead. Oh, you, you took your time there, shaking your head. Is your, your neck okay? Right, Allah Ta'ala is alive. So we have his Quran. Why would we choose something that is dead over something that is alive? Why? It doesn't make any sense, does it? So this is, this is the issue. But yeah, so I think that that practically sums it up for now. I think that, but it's very important, you know, that as you grow, you grow with the Quran. Allah Ta'ala will train you. Allah Ta'ala will teach you. Have hope in Him. Have hope in His reward. Have hope in His mercy. Have hope in His aid. Have, have hope in His protection. Have hope in His favors. Have hope in everything that He promised by this Quran that He gave. To the Nabiyeen wa Siddiqeen wa Shuhada wa Salihin, Sirat al Ladina and Amta Alayhim. That's the specific citing uh, uh, of those, okay? An Amta Alayhim, okay, those two words. Now, and also be fearful, be very, very fearful because he is, he is having the most severe wrath and punishment. There's no one who can punish better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be very, very mindful of that. Be very fearful of his punishment. Be very fearful of, of being among those who are heading toward that de destination. And any time for any of us can change, even myself, even somebody who was even, even better and more pious, they just have a little bit left of their life and then things change for them and then they wind up. Instead of going to paradise, they go to hellfire. Or well, instead of going to hellfire, they go to paradise. So be very mindful of that also. You learn your Quran to get closer to Allah, and, and, and Allah Ta'ala will come closer to you. You will feel Him, and you touch Him. You understand? Yes? Speak up. Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. So I think I'm going to have to tell you the that the Ustaz is going to have to work from now on. Ustaz, that's the Arabic way. Yeah, Ustaz. Or maybe you should say Hujur. Hujur, you can say Hujur. You know how to say Hujur, right? Yeah, you can say yes, Hujur. Yeah, that's fine too. But the Bengali situation is like that. You know, you go to Bangladesh and you have to take some party money. Do you want to go to the party? No? No, you don't like the parties? Why not? Subhanallah, subhanallah. You know, you have faith in Allah in your heart. Allah Ta'ala puts His peace in your heart, and wherever you go, it does not matter. 
you will be you will feel complete you'll be happy at heart so this is a very important thing what are we doing first though tell me what are we doing first what what are you reading first okay yes so go ahead let's hear it how many surahs are we talking about you don't know what surah are you on? You're on surah Layl or surah what surah? Oh, she finished Layl. She finished Layl? I'm on only the Yawr Layl. Okay, so let, let's go to Layl. Let's go to Layl and start from Layl. Let's see. Let's see how it sounds from Layl. Go ahead. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem again. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. Ivahar, so remember the noon is sakin. All right. Okay, you have to pay attention to the mim mim mushaddid. Yeah, because you you didn't put you didn't put a shadda and you have to stretch it. There's a there's an alif after that too. So he did it. You didn't do it. Go ahead. Some drills, then have to go over them. The bod, the pa, the the dal, fa. These are these are these are tongue letters. Okay, 
not Kha and Mudna, those are throat letters. So Dal, Bad, it's on it's on the Tha, Dal, Ra, these are all tongue letters. Um another one would be what? Sod, no, Sod would be a, a, a tooth letter. But they're on there. You're gonna have to just like the ha, the kha, the throat letters, ain, rain, of, calf, these are throat letters. You have to know the difference. But go ahead, continue. What do ha? Not what see that you you said a dal. It's not what do ha. Well boha bod. Well boha and you have to feel the air in your mouth. Your Quran penetrates everywhere in your body when you recite it correctly. Okay? So this is the bod. Bod. Wabuha. Wabuha. Don't say for Arna. Yeah, the rain is not a qalqala and the alif is just there also with the fatha. On top of it, the hamza fatha. Okay, continue. clarity on that I'm hearing some things disrupting the flow and uh, destabilizing the, the rules of Tajweed also violating rules of Tajweed so pay attention Bismillahirrahmanirrahim repeat Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alam Nashroh like a sodorok. Alam Nashroh like a sodorok. Yeah, the, he's saying it closer than you are, so you try to be more precise. Alam Nashroh like a sodorok. Alam Nashroh like a sodorok. Wawadna and Kawizrok. He's also closer with the with the ikhfa after the noon sack in the calf thing. Alladhi anqada dhahrak Alladhi anqada dhahrak He's closer. She's closer now. What's going on? Alladhi anqada dhahrak Alladhi anqada dhahrak 
الذي أنقض ظهرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ذكاف ظهرك 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 ورفعنا ووضعنا عنك وزرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا فإن مع العسر يسرا نعين عسر 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 يسرا عسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرغ فانصب فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فارغب وإلى ربك فارغب وإلى ربك فارغب وإلى ربك فارغب